Did you know this guy? Namaste. Is more desi than us. This is Hi, I'm Abhi and I'm Neeyu. And today we are following Kal. Namaste. Main Kal rock hu aur mujhe Bharat se pyar. I traveled to every single state and union territory in India and India before partition as well. So I've been to Pakistan and Bangladesh. Kal Rock is a YouTuber who's making India safer for foreigners by exposing scams like fake saffron in Kashmir, taxi scams in Delhi, and poo scams on your shoes. Ab do the bol rahe hain. So I help foreigners travel safely and confidently here in India. I want them to avoid the bad sides of India so they can love their time in India as much as I do. But why? To understand his story, let's rewind a little. Carl was born in New Zealand and when he was 18 he got introduced to India with Indian food. I was living in New Zealand and my girlfriend at the time, a European girl, she cooked me a butter chicken. But as soon as I put that spoon of butter chicken in my mouth, my like my head just exploded. I started traveling India slowly. Aapke naam kya hai? Kya hal chal? Badhiya hai. Main toro toro hare anvi bolta hu. First time I came in 2013 for a two week holiday. Every year I kept coming back to India from there. This is the king of Indian street food, the Raj Kachori. But not all experiences were as tasty as this Kachori. I came across the scams the very first second I stepped out of the new Delhi airport. Taxi driver comes up to you, "Hello friend, where can I take you?" This driver, he's going to put you in the back of his car. and then he's going to take you to his friend's store so you can do some shopping and there's not really a question of it you are just going there and he's taking you there they want you to get into the store they pressurize you to buy something you feel like you have to buy something just to leave the worst scam i ever encountered was the poo on the shoe scam and yeah it's as funny as it sounds this guy literally comes up behind you and squirts poo cow poo or monkey poo on your brand new beautiful shoe and then he comes up behind you and says look at your shoe you've got mm, on it and then he offers to clean it off your shoe for 2000 rupees so when this happens to a foreigner as soon as they land in india and something bad happens to them it leaves a really bad taste in their mouth they have a really negative experience and then they do and tell their friends overseas about what happened to them and it just wrecks india's reputation So to help foreigners avoid all these scams and bad experiences in India, I wrote the India Survival Guide. So to promote this guidebook, I just started making these YouTube videos like exposing scammers. These YouTube videos started going viral, and I started getting messages from foreigners saying, "Well, wow, thank you so much." Then I just realized I should pivot here and keep going with YouTube. This is how I can really help people because I want them to come here and I want them to explore incredible India and avoid the bad parts. That's it. I love India and I love exploring this incredible region. Now I don't just make negative or scam videos about India. In this video series, we are going to bust a ton of misconceptions about India. The northeast is paradise on earth. If you ever go to Mizoram or somewhere like that, oh my god. I've been living in an Indian village for a week. Most of my videos are positive videos. We have a saying in India, Atithi Devo Bhava. But do you think the tourism industry actually follows that? When guests from abroad come to India and when you talk to them, you don't talk to them as individuals. You talk to them as a representative of our country. And that's why I love Carl's work. It represents India as this beautiful country as it is, with some bad spots that you can easily avoid. So like Abhi and Neeyu, I'm following love too. I followed my love for India to India. And then in India, I met my real life love, my wife Manisha from Haryana. So when I first met Manisha's parents, I bowed down, I touched their feet, and that was the start of a beautiful relationship between me and her family, showing her family that respect and showing that I'm trying to integrate myself into India. Carl's story makes me think, what makes you an Indian? Carl doesn't look Indian, but talk to him for 10 minutes and you'll understand how well he has connected himself to the Indian culture. If a person born in New Zealand can come to India and call Haryana his home, can fall in love with India and its people, then I think all of us can find one reason, one good reason to love India. And that's the beauty of India. Your reasons could be different than mine, but if you consciously go looking for them, chances are you'll find more than just one. And that's the reason why I love India. Jai Hind.